What's up guys, it's Widgeon TV here. Today we have another highly anticipated perk review for you guys today, and that perk is Headseeker. Make sure to stick around for the whole video. I have a lot of good information for you guys. So Headseeker is a perk you can exclusively find on pulse rifles, and in a recent patch it was added to No Time to Explain as an intrinsic perk. And almost most importantly, you can find it on some of the metaguns, like the Clever Dragon and Grasp of Malak. So let's jump into this. So the extra damage of Headseeker is actually really easy to calculate. All you do is take a normal critical strike and compare it to a Headseeker critical strike. And boom, there you go, 8% extra damage. And with additional testing, it shows that it's the same thing in PvP. So that sounds pretty good, right? An extra 8% damage. But the plot definitely starts to thicken when you start considering the overall damage profile. When I was doing my initial research for this perk, I stumbled across a lot of people who were actually pretty annoyed at Bungie for implementing this perk because they thought it rewarded people for missing shots. But after analyzing the true damage numbers, including the body shot that is necessary to get the extra damage with the criticals, as you can see, you actually get less damage overall. So it's still better to hit all three crits rather than one body shot and two crits. So this perk is no reward, just forgiveness. And just how much forgiveness it's giving us is actually a really complicated question. But I'm going to try to show you exactly how much Headseeker helps you out. So for these particular damage numbers, they're actually from the Grasp of Malak and Clever Dragon archetype. I'm using these numbers because these are some of the most popular pulse rifles in the game right now, and in fact they're some of the most popular guns in the game right now. And I can't cover all pulse rifles in one video. I'll leave links in the description for the health charts and the damage charts that I used, in case you want to look up the stats for one of your favorite guns. So without Headseeker, six crits and three body shots will be able to kill a low armor guardian but just barely but if you are using head seeker you can kill a mid armor guardian with the same combination of shots six crits three body shots but in my opinion the most interesting column here is this one right here do you know why this column is so interesting well do you know what falls between 193 and 201 yeah max armor guardian and most people in competitive crucible run their guardians at max armor and so with this combination of bullets you would actually be able to kill a max armor guardian while if you weren't running head seeker you wouldn't be able to kill them so this same kind of thing happens several times over with all the different guns there will be situations where you will be able to kill somebody faster with head seeker and that means that I and that means in my opinion that this is a very good perk for the crucible of course there is benefits for having it in pve also but i think this perk definitely shines in pvp so i would definitely look out for a gun with head seeker on it and maybe give that gun a shot and see how it works for you but anyway next we're going to talk about hake pulse rifles So if anybody knows anything about Hawkeye Pulse Rifles, they'll know that they shoot four bullets in a burst instead of three. So I got pretty excited about this when I heard that Hawkeye Rifles can be rolled with Head Seeker. So I thought, hey, it'll give it one more critical shot for extra damage, maybe making these Hawkeye Rifles a perfect weapon for Head Seeker. But after only a little bit of testing, I found out something that was very disappointing. Now take a look right here. Yeah, look at that. One of the critical shots is actually doing less damage than the other two critical shots. So that means Headseeker only works on the next two shots in your bursts. The third shot just reverts back to normal critical damage. So yeah, that was really disappointing. I was really hoping to see a positive result for these guns because honestly, they don't really fit into the meta anywhere right now. But anyway, that's all I have on Headseeker. I'd really like to know what kind of recommendations you guys have for the next in-depth video. I'm open to just about anything. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys made it this far, I would really appreciate if you guys hit the like button. It's more important than ever that you guys are hitting the like button and continue to share my content. It really helps out my channel more than you guys know. I'll leave a link down in the description below to My Name is Bife. He just put up a video that shows how important it is to be liking and commenting on your favorite creator's videos. But anyway, this has been Widgeon TV. Thanks for watching, guys.